Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ravindra and this is part two of how to avoid stock photography submission rejection. So I've already discussed some of the points in my previous video. You might want to check the card above to see the first part of it and I will be continuing with more points in this video. So watch this video till the end because this is super important. It will save a lot of your time. So coming to the next point and that is the poor exposure. So this happens when your photo is uh, flat or washed out. I'm referring to the histogram here. So this histogram should be within the range. If it's more on the left side then, or if it's more on the right side, that's when you are, you are having a poor exposure. So your photos can reje get rejected easily when there is an exposure issue. So the next point is soft due to size. And this happens when uh, this this is caused by over increasing the size of an image so basically you have a large landscape photo and you try to zoom in to one particular region and you crop the image and make an image out of the zoomed in image that's when you see softness due to the size so so in addition to the photo composition and photo editing uh, we do have some of the um, other reasons i've seen this in some of the stock agencies where some of the cameras are not supported um, i'm not sure why they do not support but yes uh, there are a few mobile phone photos that are not definitely not supported but when it comes to dslr i'm not sure why they do not support it maybe um, it is something to do with the file format but if you're exporting that and if you're uploading that in jpeg i'm not sure why it has to be rejected based on the camera model Anyways, uh, if you know it, then you can always leave a comment below. By the way, you can join my friend zone. I have created a friend zone where I will be sending out newsletters every once in two weeks, at least as of this recording. And you can get all of those free information. And also, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll be sharing a lot many contents on my YouTube community. Fund. So just join, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit on the bell icon to get all the, those latest updates. By the way, moving on to the next point, and that is the excessive similars. So basically this happens uh, when you have similar photos from one identical or one location and that too during the same time of the day and uh, it's almost the same photo. It's like, you know, you press the button or there are multiple clicks that you have done and all of them are good and you just want to upload all of them so that you make some money. Here is the secret for that. What I do is I still upload, even though I know that if I upload the similar photos, it will get rejected. I still upload photos, but on but any similar photo, I will not upload on the same day. Usually the approval happens in batch. And whenever you upload a photo, um, make sure that if there is another similar photo, use a completely different title and the tags and maybe the, even the location, but from a different angle or something. Make sure that the title and description is different so that it will get approved on a different day. So coming to the next point where I've seen some of the images with border. So that will that is strictly not acceptable. So having a white or black frame around the image, do not do that. Just upload it as is. Uh, basically, they do not want any kind of frame to be added to the image. And there are a few websites where they are specific about orientation. So basically, it should not be upside down or it should not be sideways or vertical. Uh, if you are capturing reflection, then highlight it saying you are capturing the reflection and it might get approved. But I've seen some of the things where you know you are trying to capture the mountain, but the reflection of the mountain and not the mountain itself and it will be in V-shape. So make sure that you highlight it and also add the description with the relevant comment. So you usually they approve it. Um, the next point is to make sure that there are no people around or there are no private properties because you need to have property release and also model release if there are people in that image. Say for example if your advertisers are into some news channel then they can still use it. You are allowed to upload. So basically scanning artifacts is um, the reason why many of my photos got rejected and the, when I say scanning artifacts it is basically the logo or the brand name of uh, different companies. Say for example, if I want to drink something and if there is Coke or Pepsi that's appearing in the bottle, your photos will get rejected because there is this trademark or the brand name that is appearing and your photos will get rejected. So edit that and make it as an empty bottle without the brand. Even if your shirt has a logo here, edit it and remove that before you upload. By the way, if, you're, if your image has a human being appearing in front and if that is a property or a private property that is appearing in the image, then you need to have model release and the property release attached while you upload the image or else again your photos will get rejected. Coming to the next point and these are minor things uh, where it will clearly show it's not that you upload and get rejected while uploading 
there are some size limits say for example your photo should not be more than 15 mb or 30 mb or there are some limits so just read those terms before you upload those photos and you cannot directly upload photos to any of these websites so first you need to get it approved so basically you upload some two or three photos and then they will approve your account i have seen this in some of the stock agencies where i upload photo for the first time ever where we have to upload some sample photos say it can be only three or five photos and your approval gets rejected and the primary reason is those photos that you have you have uploaded is of least value for them and it's only adding up space to their database which means that your photo even though however good it is i've seen this happening in the 500 pixel that i had uploaded many times and also in gte and shutterstock where and also LME, where uh, it has happened in every uh, website where they just reject the image because that particular photo or it might be of tourist place or anything it did not add much of a value or there is no one to buy that image uh, it is not one of their hot topics that or the trending topics where there are highest number of sales happening and one more thing that i want to add is the watermark do not add that uh, you can always add it in the description no one can download your photo um, usually the stock agencies will add their own watermark uh, and no one can download those photos without the watermark unless they have a paid membership only then they can download the photos without the watermark and you will get paid for it so these are the primary reasons why your photos get rejected and make sure you follow these things so that all of the effort that you have spent in capturing the photo and uploading and doing the keyword research and the description for each of those images you know you spend so much of time and it should not get rejected at the end of the day after and that they take some time it's almost like one or two weeks time that they take to approve in some of the case don't just upload photos and then you know having a lot of rejection ratio can even it can give a bad image to the stock agency so it's always good to have good number of photos in the approval list or it's nice to have a lot many photos approved than rejected under your name in these stock agencies. Hope this information was useful and if you think that it was helpful then go ahead subscribe to my YouTube channel hit on that bell icon because I will be sharing many more videos of this kind. Stay tuned. Cheers.